Hello, Alex. How are you this morning? Monday morning. No, oh, is it work? It's Monday morning, is it? Oh, that's why I feel a little bit broken, is it? Hard weekend, Andy. Tough weekend. Tell us about it. No, no, I was, I was taking the mickey, Andy. Hard, hard weekend out partying. Feel a bit dusty this morning. How's the conditions this morning? You're, uh, you're in the trade winds and going well. Yeah, uh, 12 to 14 knots. Occasional gusts to 15. So a bit light. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, these boats go so fast in such little wind. I don't think I've seen more than 15 knots since I got in the trade wind. And uh, I don't know, so sometimes I find it mesmerizing, just the, the capability of these boats to go so fast in such little wind. Sorry, I'm saying you look quite comfortable, Alex. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sat, in, we're sat in the Kirk chair, that's what, the, that's what the team call it, the Kirk chair. Yeah, looking at the instruments, I can see my uh, computer's just above the eye line of the instruments. I can put my foot out, touch the grinder. Oh, I, uh, I haven't got my seatbelt on right now, but I should have. It's uh, certainly in the middle of the night when she starts taking off down waves at 28, 29 knots. I feel myself instinctively reaching for the seatbelt to put it on. Incredible. Um, Alex, news that uh, Corum has dismastered your reaction. Oh, mate, I didn't know that. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, that, uh, when did that happen, Andy? Just this morning. Oh, no, that's terrible. I mean, ter terrible for Nico. And terrible for, well, terrible for everybody, because we've all got the same mask, Andy, as you know. So, uh, yeah, that, that's terrible. I'd be uh, very interested to know what's happened there, and uh, my... Uh, Condolences to. Uh, we'll watch Nicky, that one. Nico and Tell uh, us about your team. experience in uh, in theatre, then, Alex. You had a lot of wind and a, and a brooch. Yeah, no, uh, fifty uh, sustained winds over fifty, maybe fifty three, fifty four, something like that, and then uh, gusts over sixty. And uh, and in one of these path sides, just sailing under uh, just three reefs alone, I think. Yeah, just mainsail only. Uh, still going very fast, but the third, the third reef outboard line um, slipped in its in its uh, constrictor in its in its clutch. So, uh, and the front end, for some reason, I don't think it was all the way on. I think I had a little Herbert stuck on it, but somehow that released as well. Uh, so anyway, the the, the back end of the of the mainsail released and went up, um, giving more sail area, overpowering the boat. So the boat then broke. Somehow the front end of the of the reef three came undone as well, or 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 I hadn't pulled it in properly. And I don't know if anybody's been in lots of wind in that kind of situation, but what happens is the mainsail unbelievably goes up. So, uh, absolutely, the worst thing you want is for the mainsail to go up, but it, it started to go up, so... So, you know, I, I probably spent, a, I don't know, three or four minutes kind of head to wind, broke, trying to haul this mainsail back down again, trying not to look at it, because it looked like under tremendous amount of stress. Um... But uh, yeah, managed to manage to pull pull the reef back in, uh, left her on a winch, and uh, and decided that was enough. I'd, I'd stick my tack in and start heading out of it again. Good, and uh, everything is okay with the boat otherwise. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Apart, apart from that constrictor, I uh, managed to break. I broke the top end of a, a stanchion. Yeah, I got a few. Bits of few little jobs to do, a bit of tidying up. Yeah, no, no real issues. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the doldrums tomorrow morning look uh, look reasonable. Yeah, they do actually. Yeah, they look lovely uh, for doldrums. <laughs> but, but you know what happens in the doldrums? You get stuck in the doldrums, don't you? So it's no, like a little little game of let's entice you in and tell you it's all going to be all right, and then let and then let's trap you like it did to Chorale in the Jacques Barbe last year. So 
I'm not going to be fooled by it. <laughs> Here's I'll, hoping. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, expect the worst, and if uh, anything better than that, will be a bonus. Meantime, Alex, so you're you're channeling your Lewis Hamilton, are you? Oh yeah, good on old Lewis, hey? Amazing. Well, you know, I, I'm I met Lewis in um, well, 2005 when I, my first year with Diego Boss. We went down to um, do some work at the Monaco Grand Prix, and he was sat on a boat, uh, and I and I went onto the boat and and uh, sat down and and I said, um, I said, I oh, mate, my name's Alex. I said, what's your name? He said, oh, I'm Lewis. Oh, I said, what do you do then, Lewis? He, he said, oh, I'm a racing car driver. I raced in Formula Formula Two. 2000 or 3000, whatever it was. I said, oh, yeah. So uh, I said, I bet you want to be in Formula One, don't you? And he said, yeah, yeah, I really want to be in Formula One. And I think back now, God, I imagine that no one, even him, could ever have guessed seven world titles. Amazing. He's an Same inspiration for you. Absolutely.